fulani si mambo ya ndoa za pamoja za waume za pamoja za wake that is non negotiable hata mila za kimila za kikikuyu kikamba wajaluo that is not acceptable Afrika imesema na katika baraza mengi ya Afrika just in case people are thinking that way wajua sababu zake ni lugha zimekuja zimegongana wakati muhimu sana tunaongea habari ya kuzaliwa mwana Kristu huku kunatokea hali ya baraka za watu wanaoona sasa that has caused a lot of issues so sina sina shaka kuna ukosefu wa uh, focus kwa sababu hali zilivyo za kilimwengu manake hayo nao kuna watu wanakazia nilijiwa na uh, journalist kumi na wawili kutoka nchi fulani ya, ya, ya nchi ya Kenya wakitaka kujua je tuliongelea mambo haya nikamuuliza mmoja wao wewe unaenda kanisa gani akanambia mimi am an atheist sasa how can we talk wewe unaongea kikamba na mwingine anaongea kijaluo hamtaelewana you see what i mean so jamani Kenyans be relax chapeni maisha yenu iweni watu wa kusikia na kuamua ni yapi mema ya kufanya pia kumbuka nyinyi wote ni watu wazima mnaoenda makanisa mbalimbali i've not had one church katika yale zile nazo dili nazo hata waislamu ana wahindu wanaounga mkono jambo hili sijasikia bado sijasikia kama wako hapo inue mikono anybody for doa za pamoja hakuna so jipigieni pamoja tuko pamoja na nyinyi that's exactly so please take charge on your lives asante sana ni za kibwake kwa wake waume kwa wake tangu jadi sio tangu jana that has been the teaching of the church years tangu niwe mtoto mdogo wa shule na labda alieleweka vibaya majua hizi lugha na pia kuelewa ni nini kinaongelewa sio wazi kwa watu wote na pili mara nyingi we journalists we are quoting other journalists who made a mistake from one era to another era to another era jambo la baraka ni jambo nimewaambia na maana nimewaletea aina mbili ya baraka hapa na hata hapa nikimaliza ibada na hakika nitazingirwa na watu wakiomba baraka mbalimbali i'm not blessing same <laughs> sex unions no we are not blessing same marriages we are not making marriages Mwingine anataka nibarikie baisikeli yake, mwingine anataka nibarikie gari yake, mwingine baraka ni kuleta wema na uzuri wa Mungu katika shughuli tunazofanya. Mwingine anataka nibarikie mbegu wa kapande. Wema na uzuri wa mbegu hizo zizae. Mwingine anaomba baraka kwa ajili ya watoto wake wapite mitiani. Juzi katika kabla ya mitiani, mapali walikuwa watu kajasho. Shule hii inataka, shule ile inataka. Ni actually njia moja binadamu kujiondolea hofu nyingi ambazo tunazo. Hata mimi nilipoenda kwa baba mtakatifu ile ile na maadili ya kufanya ibada mbalimbali ninapoitwa baraka au misa tuseme baya misa ninaulizia misa nia yake ni nini na ile nia siwezi kuiombea nia ambayo ni kinyume cha mafundisho ya imani kwa mfano mwizi aniambie njoo niombe baraka naenda kunja benki <laughs> nataka nisishikwe i cannot do that it's again it's god's law this is kwamba kuiba ni vibaya so nafikiri unaona where we are going na ndivyo siku zote msifikiri kwamba tunabariki ovyo ovyo hapana au misa nina mfadha anapoitwa kutoma msika misa huwa anafanya utafiti wake huyo mtu anataka misa juu ya nini ndio maana tunasema the intention of the mass and sisi kama wakatoliki tuna mikakati yetu hatusali tu vwa tunaombea dunia nzima lakini kuna specifics ambao ningehitaji mtu huyo ajitafakari unaona ndio unaona hata wakati wa zile wakati wa hizi mambo ya siasa mingi tulisema tafadhali ni wanasiasa kaeni huko muhubiri ya kwenu manake mkija kuku mnaleta mambo mengine ambao natutia shida na tunakubaliana bila shida na wao walikuelewa waliaelewa wengi wao wanajua wanachenjea kivyana jana nimeona e, mahala fulani e, mmoja amepigiwa simu tuna, mnasikia mko hapo eh tuko hapo so e, tunawatupia kamchango kidogo so that is also kissing messing about the church we don't work that way kwamba e, we are open to receiving any gifts from everywhere anyhow 
na zingine zina string attached so that's how we want to say la mwisho mwangu mzima unashinikiza jambo hili wacha kanisa uh, hata marais wa nchi mbalimbali mmewasikia wengine wanaambiwa usipokubali hili jambo la LGBTQ hautapata mswada au msaada kutoka nchi mbalimbali ndugu yetu mseveni mnajua yaliyompata na aliyovyoenda kuna shinikizo sio kutoka nchi kwenye kanisa watu wa imani hapana ni kutoka the secular world ambayo inataka kutuganamiza what will be the result ya kuwa na LBTQ waume kuoma waume wake kuoma waume the first step kumbuka population will go down to almost zero kwa sababu kati ya waume wawili unapata watoto wangapi kati ya wake wawili unapata watoto wangapi na je mtapataje wafanyakazi je mtapataje eh, familia zingine so you are adding in catastrophe you are adding to ground zero hakuna watu hakuna watoto na pia tabia zenyewe tabia zenyewe juzi katika mkutano wetu wa county hapa tuliongelea haya haya tabia zenyewe za kuelekeza wapi na kwa namna gani what is the end result the end result is self destruction ya binadamu kwamba kutakuwa baada muda fulani there will be no more human beings created from other human beings unless you go through a factory <laughs> au hizi leo wanazoita eh, kina mama wanaonuliwa kubeba mayai ya watu tofauti surrogate mothers so that is my question to you all tukiendelea hivi how many more years will we have grandfathers will we have grandmothers katika masomo yetu leo jana tumesikia wakieleza kuhusu uh, genealogy of Jesus Christ kuzaliwa kwa Yesu kulikuwa hivi fulani wa fulani akamzaa fulani dada da. tutafikia mahali zero aya swali la pili 